Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFD webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure advanced audit policies for Active Directory using Grip policy. The purpose of security auditing is to ensure that events are logged whenever an activity occurs. The audit policy section of a GPO enables you to log successful and failed security events such as logon events, account access, and object access. You can use auditing to track both user activities and system activities. Planning to audit requires that you determine the computers to be audited and the types of events you want to track. When you consider an event to audit, you must decide whether to audit successful events, fail events, or both. Tracking successful events enables you to determine how often users access network resources. This information can be valuable when planning your resources usage and budgeting for new resources. Tracking failed events can help you determine when security breaches occur or are attempted. For example, if you notice frequent failed logon attempts for a specific user account, you might want to investigate further. However, when every activity is audited, event logs become flooded with irrelevant information that makes it difficult for network administrators to separate critical events from insignificant ones. By default, Active Directory does not audit all security events. You must explicitly enable auditing of important events so that they are recorded in the security event log and available for inclusion in audit reports and alerts. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msftwebcast.com domain. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. From the Server Manager's tool menu, select Group Policy Management. Right click Group Policy Objects and select New. In the new GPO dialog box, enter a friendly name for the new GPO. For example, Advanced Audit Policy. Click OK to create a GPO. The new GPO is added to the Group Policy Objects container. Right click the newly created GPO and select Edit to modify the GPO settings. There are two places to configure audit policy in Active Directory using GPO. Basic audit policy settings and advanced audit policy settings. Navigate to Computer Configuration, Policies, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Local Policies, and click on Audit Policy. Under Audit Policy section, we can find the basic audit policy settings. Now, let's see where we can find the advanced audit policies. Expand Advanced Audit Policy Configuration. Click on Expand Audit Policies. And for example, click on Log On and Log Off. Here we can see the policy settings related to Advanced Audit Policy Configuration. The basic security audit policy settings and the advanced security audit policy settings appears to overlap, but they are recorded and applied differently. There are total nine audit policy settings available under basic audit policy and under advanced audit policy configuration. The settings available in advanced audit policy configuration address similar issues as the nine basic settings available under basic audit policy, but they allow administrators to be more selective in the number and types of events to audit. Advanced audit policy settings helps administrators exercise granular control over which activities get recorded in the logs, helping cut down on event noise. As an example, Instead of turning on the DS Access Audit Policy category to troubleshoot a replication problem, which would generate around 8 events every time this activity occurs, an administrator could turn on the Advanced Audit Policy subcategory for Directory Service Replication, 
which would only generate one event instead of eight. The basic audit policy provides a single setting for account logon and the advanced audit policy provides four. Enabling the single basic account logon setting would be equivalent of setting all four advanced account logon settings. In comparison, setting a single advanced audit policy setting does not generate audit events for activities that you are not interested in tracking. You should assess the advantages and disadvantages before choosing to log successes, failures or both. For example, for files that are frequently accessed by legitimate users, successful access attempts will quickly fill the event logs with unwanted event logs. Since Failed login events can indicate unauthorized access attempts. Those are the events should be audited in this scenario. On the other hand, for files with sensitive information, every access attempt should be logged, both successful and failed, so that you have an audit trail of every user who accessed the file. I hope now you have understood the basic difference between basic audit policies and audit policies under advanced audit policy configuration. In this video, we will configure audit policies from advanced audit policy configuration. I'm not going to explain each and every audit policy settings in this video. For example, we will only modify few of the settings from DS access. We can see a list of policies that are under direct service access. Double click Active Directory Service Changes. Check the boxes labeled Configure the following audit events, success, and failure. Let me click on Explain tab. Here you can read brief overview information about this policy setting. This policy setting allows you to audit events generated by changes to objects in ADDS. Events are logged when an object is created, deleted, modified, move or undeleted. I'm going to click on apply and OK. You can see the subcategory is successfully configured with audit events type success and failure. Click on object access. Double click on audit file system. Check the box. Configure the following audit events for success and failure. Again, click on explain tab to read brief over your information about this audit policy setting. Click on apply and OK. So we have configured only two subcategories under advanced audit policy configuration. Close the group policy editor window. Go back to the group policy management console and link the GPO to desired OU. In our example, I'm going to link this GPO to our domain controllers. So right click the domain controllers OU and select link an existing GPO. From the list, select advanced audit policy GPO and click on OK. Right click the domain controllers OU again and select group policy update. Click on yes. This makes sure that the new group policy settings are applied instantly instead of waiting for the next scheduled refresh. Click on OK. You can also manually update the group policy by running command gp update slash force from the command prompt. Okay, group policy settings has been updated successfully. Let me exit from this command prompt. Once this policy is enabled and applied on domain controllers, events are logged on the DC security log. For example, if you create a group policy object, if you delete a group policy object or if you modify an existing group policy object, there will be events log on domain controller security log. This can be viewed in the event viewer. Go back to server manager, click on tools and select event viewer. Click on security logs. Here you will find a list of all the security events that are logged in the system. Let's go back to GPMC. Let's create a new GPO. Right click on a group policy objects, select new. Let me give name taste GPO2 and click on OK. So the GPO is created successfully. Select the newly created GPO name taste GPO2 
and then go to details tab. Check the unique ID of this GPO, which is also known as GUID of group policy object. Now let's go back to event viewer to check the logs. We can see new events available. Click on refresh to see the updated events log. Here you will find the list of latest security events that are logged in our domain controller. Under security, click on filter current log. Enter the desired event ID in the field labeled all event IDs. Type 5137 and click OK. Event ID 5137 is logged when a group policy object is created. This event is generated because we have configured DS access advanced audit policy configuration on our domain controller using group policy. Now you can see the details are logged in the event properties, the distinguished name of the object that was modified, the SID and name of the account that requested the operation, the object attribute that was modified and the type of operation performed on the GPO, for example, if a value was added or removed from the GPO. Check the mentioned GUID with our GPO's GUID. It will be same as that event log is generated when we created this GPO. So we can confirm that our advanced audit policy is working as expected in our test environment. Setting up the correct audit policy is a great start, but it's only half the battle. You also need to be able to analyze the data you collect. You can use third-party software to collect and analyze the auditing data to generate report and alerts. That's all for this video on how to configure advanced audit policies in Active Directory. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.